We received tremendous feedback in our STA inbox to this week's question. As we've mentioned, the International Criminal Court has sentenced former Congolese Vice President Jean-Pierre Bemba to prison for leading a campaign of rape and murder in neighboring Central African Republic. This leads us to our question of the week, which asks, what is your reaction to the ICC sentencing Jean-Pierre Bemba to 18 years in prison for war crimes and crimes against humanity? Well, before we begin, I'd like to thank all of you for using all our social media platforms to communicate with us. And another reminder that we are tweeting live today. Use the hashtag VOAICC sentence. And if you haven't yet, please follow us at VOA Shaka. And speaking of, let's go to a tweet from Prince Habat Nkula, who tweets, as long as he has been found guilty, then he ought to serve the sentence. We have another tweet from Shagulan Shabi, who tweets, if there's evidence, he has to be jailed. Crimes against humanity shouldn't be tolerated. It's a lesson to other leaders. And we have an, a Facebook uh, comment from our fan Amanua Akubo from Nigeria, who writes, the International Criminal Court sentence against Jean-Pierre Bemba is a very good sign that the court seriously wants to get rid of war criminals and human rights abusers on the continent. It shows that the ICC wants Africa to make meaningful progress. Well, Shaka, these comments have been echoed countless times all over the internet. Your take. Very interesting. Uh, Professor um, Reverend uh, Julien Kiakundi, are you there? I am there, he's still there. First of, first of all, what was your immediate reaction when you learned of uh, the sentencing of uh, your compatriot, Jean-Pierre Bemba, by the ICC? And what can you say about what you just heard uh, from the reaction via social media? Yes, uh, first of all, I have to say that I was not surprised uh, to see that Jean-Pierre Bemba was sentenced because uh, I knew what was going on. My background of international uh, lobbyist for many years, almost 35 years of my life, I have consecrated on uh, lobbying for current issue on Africa, Congo, and Great Lakes uh, sub-region of Africa, internationally. In 2003, before I left Congo for my uh, uh, voluntary asylum in London, I have told to Jean-Pierre Mbemba in Kinshasa that there is a case pending on him. Even he become president of Congo, he will end by Hague in ICC court. He will be jailed and probably will die there. I have told him in 2003, in July, and he knows that. He knows his chief of security, Samato, was sent by him and his father to me in Kinshasa before I left Kinshasa in August 2003. And this is to say that I am not surprised. But one thing is true, the crimes against humanity the crimes of war have been committed in Central Africa. But my question is, Jean-Pierre Mbemba was not a politician in Congo. He was not ever military or chief military. How a man who was a civilian doing his business become suddenly a soldier, chief of army, and uh, have uh, troops, and uh, have uh, weapons to go enter in Congo and start a war. The problem is there. I heard my friend from uh, the journalist, the reporter from uh, Kampala, Kakuza. I have to tell to him that I was a friend of Museveni until we overthrew Mobutu. I contacted Museveni in Oslo, Norway in 90, 
95. And we did what we could do together with the president of Angola, with the position of United States, to get rid of Mobutu in 97. But why today I am not with Museveni? Because I find out that this man is the man who is troubling all the Great Lakes region. It's from where Jean-Pierre Mbemba came. And he was not alone. Museveni created Jean-Pierre Mbemba, created uh, a lot of uh, uh, warlords, sent them to Congo with uh, only one objective, to kill, to rape, to genocide and to loot the minerals. That's the objective. We'll come Looting back. Looting the minerals. We'll come back to uh, to a bit of that later. Um, Ayen, do you have any more reaction from yeah. social media, please? Yes. In fact, let's go to Kampala, Uganda, where our Facebook fan Asimwe Abel writes. The period of time that Jean-Pierre Bemba had already spent behind ICC bars was enough for the crime he committed. This shows that there is a conspiracy to deny him the chance to contest for DRC presidency in November 2016. And our last Facebook comment comes from Othin Jeremiah, who writes, sentencing Bemba if he committed crime, if he committed the crime is good, but the irrelevancy and balance of ICC on global affairs is evident. The ICC should be disbanded and stopped. It's a weak body that, that has nothing much to do. Well, Shaka, some harsh criticisms here. 